In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a major update to Elgato's Wavelink software. And for those of you that might not know what that is, Elgato Wavelink software is something like this. It gives you the ability to adjust mixes for your audio, for what you hear and for what your live stream hears. And even if you're a creator, you can find useful ways to utilize this. And if you currently do use this, it's going to be a really big update. And for those of you that are contemplating on whether or not you want to use this, once again, this is a very big update that might sway your decisions and your opinions on whether or not you want to go with a product such as the Elgato Wave XLR or an Elgato Wave microphone or a Elgato Stream Deck Plus that gives you access and the ability to use the Wavelink software. So let's roll that intro and jump into all the differences and changes this update brings for those of you that use the Elgato Wavelink software. Before we dive into today's content, let's go ahead and pause for a moment to consider the value of making smart decisions. Speaking of which, we're thrilled to once again partner with Mint Mobile, the pioneers in transforming the wireless industry. They're dedicated to providing premium wireless service without that hefty price tag we've all come to dread. Ever find yourself puzzled by the sky-high cost of your wireless bill? Well, if so, Mint Mobile is on a mission to demonstrate that there's a smarter way to do things. For a limited time, new customers can enjoy any three-month plan for just $15 a month. That's correct. You were hearing that correctly. 50% off their unlimited plan. Imagine accessing the nation's largest 5G network, enjoying unlimited talk and text, and all the benefits of a high-tier wireless experience at half the cost. The transition to Mint Mobile is a breeze thanks to their eSIM technology. Many of you can seamlessly switch over from the comfort of your home in as little as 15 minutes. And for those of you that prefer a physical SIM card, Mint Mobile's got you covered there with a free SIM sent directly to your doorstep. Let go of the old, overpriced, and convoluted ways of wireless. Head over to trymintmobile.com forward slash how to tech to snag this incredible offer and get premium wireless for just $15 a month. My wife and I jumped on the Mint Mobile bandwagon over a year ago, and we've been fans ever since. Who can resist the allure of significant savings? I'm really, really excited for this video. This is something I've been hoping for. Elgato is a company that makes quality products, but I think the thing that makes Elgato stand out over pretty much any of their competitors is not that they just make quality products. They make great software and they're constantly updating and innovating on their software that they create and they just make it better and give you more features and just make the experience better for everybody involved that wants to utilize those features and products. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and we're going to kind of run through this really, really quick. So for those of you that do not use Elgato Wavelink, this is what it looks like. It is a software that lets you adjust a mix that you can hear inside of your headphones. If you plug into any other devices, however you want to set that up and wherever you want to hear that audio from. Currently, I have it set to my TV, but if I wanted to, I could change it to my headphones. And now the audio is going through my headphones. Very convenient, very nice. But then we have this other slider over here that's got this kind of like broadcast icon. This is setting up a separate mix. Then that mix is called your stream mix that lets you say, have your gameplay a lot louder in your headphones, but it's not overbearing for your viewers. Very convenient, very nice. And also gives you the ability to toggle um, via some of the settings in here of being able to hear what that sounds like by clicking on this little ear icon on the right side. And you can dial in your stream mix without even having to go live, which is really, really neat and really awesome. And I, once again, I love Elgato's Wavelink software, and I think this update is going to make it even better for those of you that just weren't sure if some of the features were kind of worth, you know, getting into the Elgato ecosystem. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the Elgato Wavelink 1.9 update and the release notes for it. And there's also separate ones for the Mac version. For those of you that are interested, I will link both of these down below so you can jump to this and kind of see what's going on. And let's go ahead and dive into it. And we're going to talk about these main bullet points here, which is the new low latency mode, the new stream mix to hardware, which is awesome. Um, the backup, your audio settings is really convenient too. And then Elgato has also included new audio effects and things that you can bring in yourself. So let's talk about low latency mode and why I think this is super important. Elgato started really uh, from 
my memory and from how long I've known Elgato has been many, many years ago. And that was making top of the market, just the best capture cards that you could really buy if you planned on playing any video games from a console. And that's where I first started purchasing Elgato products. I bought multiple capture cards from Elgato back in the day, and they were just great. But the problem that I've had with Elgato's Wavelink software, and this is something coming from me as a person that games a lot, is that their latency is kind of high um, whenever it comes to routing audio through Wavelink. And that's kind of unfortunate, but this is something that they've addressed completely here in this update. And I love it. It's awesome. So they added a new low latency mode and it can reduce latency by up to 50%. And keep in mind, this is only for the game channel. So essentially, if you open up the software, you have different options that you can add in here. And I'll click those. See, we can add in a browser, music, and auxiliary inputs. But this is specifically for the game mode. And if you click this little arrow, you can actually enable low latency. And it does go ahead and remind you that it does not support VST plugins if they're VST2. If you have VST3 plugins, they seem to be supported. And for those of you that aren't sure what VSTs are, it's basically any effect you add here at the bottom. And we can add in different ones from Elgato, like their compressor and their EQ. More on those in just a second. But this is a really nice quality of life feature, considering Elgato started in the capturing environment for gamers. And a lot of gamers are probably using their audio interfaces and their Stream Deck Plus and all the other products that you can use to utilize Wavelink. So big update and big improvement there. The next we're going to talk about is the stream mix to hardware. This now allows you to take the stream mix and you can route it through hardware like headphones or other capture cards or even your speakers. And it states that this can make a dual PC setup a breeze, just like the capture card as the audio output. And I could not agree anymore. The routing through this is awesome and they've made it super easy to make it work and let's talk about how you do that because it's very easy so traditionally this wasn't really an option that you could change it just set up a default output and it just said stream mix so if you went into obs and then added a new audio device you could select your stream mix and that's how you get these cool mixing options that you've selected here inside of the wavelink software but now, if you wanted to route that out to a different computer and it not just be a virtual output, we can actually select this and send it out to, say, my TV. I could route it to my TV if I wanted to. Um, if you had a capture card, you could select your capture card. Whatever you wanted to utilize this for, you can now set your stream mix to go other places other than just as a virtual output. So that is really convenient as well. Now we have the ability to back up our audio settings. This is super important and they are spitting some facts right here when they say Windows updates are notorious for resetting all kinds of settings like audio outputs in your favorite apps and a bunch of other things. Wavelink can now automatically save your configuration and Windows audio routing, which you can safely restore at any time. For extra peace of mind, you can even save out custom backups. It says this restores your Windows-based audio routing. For apps like Discord and OBS, you may still need to reply your input and output devices. Now, what this is going to work really well for is if you play games or if you have certain programs that you route through Wavelink and you don't want to have to keep changing what devices they're supposed to route through, this is going to be awesome and it's super easy to do as well. And we're going to click this button right here and open up this and it just kind of shows how to do that and what's included. So we need to go to the Wavelink icon in the Windows system tray and right click the icon so we can click that here. And then we have a backup and restore option as you can see right below me. And then basically it's actually already doing its own custom backups. But if you wanted to, you could save your custom mixer settings and then say put it on a flash drive or put it on an external hard drive and re-import those if you ever have any problems with your audio or if your computer updates and it breaks it. And for those of you that use Windows, it's probably going to happen at some point in time. And the fact that they've already got it set to automatically back up is awesome. So very big update whenever it comes to audio and you not having to mess with this every single time your computer updates. So let's talk about some of the updates that they've done um, with audio effects. So Wavelink 1.9 introduces a brand new audio effect, plus exciting updates to the EQ and noise removal. 
and they say, take a look or listen. So if you guys want to, once again, I'll link this down below. You can go ahead and click on this and take a listen. But the one thing that I want to talk about first is the Elgato EQ presets. Previously, the EQ was something that you could set, but you could not save presets. And that kind of sucked. <laughs> So let's say we wanted to do an EQ preset on my voice. So we can go here, click on the settings gear, and here is my EQ. Well, previously you could go through and you can adjust these, but there was no way to save it. Well, now you can click this little save and then name your preset and you can have different presets set up for whatever you want. And it's that easy to make one. Make it, set it, forget it, save it. It's it's easy. It's awesome. And you can do more and go through and customize those out however you want to. Very big quality of life improvement and update, even if you're using it just to set a low pass or a high pass filter or, you know, just set different EQs for vocals. You could do that and then use it on your other um, things such as voice chat. So if I had my discord and everything running through voice chat, I could set up the same audio EQ directly through here and I could pull that preset for my people in my discord that are talking whenever I'm streaming as well, which is really, really nice. Another thing that they did whenever it came to audio is they did actually incorporate a brand new VST or plugin, whatever you want to call it. And you can download that. Um, you can get it for free on the Elgato marketplace. So just click that. It'll take you to the marketplace. And um, it, I don't think it's linking directly to it, but yes, just go search for the Elgato compressor. This thing is pretty neat and it actually helps you by setting itself. So you just go into add effects, Elgato and compressor, and then it just kind of walks you through it. You just speak, talk like you normally would while you're streaming. It analyzes everything in the background and it sets it however it needs to be set. Super easy and I don't know what else you'd want more than that, but so now you have a compressor. You don't have to go out and find another VST that lets you do this. You can just do all of this from the Elgato marketplace. Just download it and then start setting it up however you need to. And um, if you don't want to use it, well, you can turn it off by just clicking this trash can and removing that audio effect. So if you want compression, you can now set compression on all the things in here once again without having to go get another VST from some other marketplace or some other place on the internet. Noise removal is something else a lot of people tend to use and they did make some adjustments to it so you can now customize the threshold and release time and other things based off of your environment and audio preferences for the noise removal. So if you utilize noise removal, you might be able to mess with this a little bit to get your audio more fine tuned and get a little bit less distortion when using, um, you know, noise removal inside of Wavelink. Another thing that is really cool, if any of you have a stream deck, um, you can now display the audio meters whenever using the Wavelink plugin. So previously you would be able to have this and you could use this kind of as like a fader system and you'd be able to adjust the volume up and down of say, you know, for this one, it looks like this would be your gameplay and this one might be system audio. And this one, let's say is um, voice chat. You'd be able to hit these buttons and dial the volume up or down, but now we can actually see a real time audio meter that's going to jump up and down and you can see the levels of your audio. And we have the ability to set it to static a visual or a virtual fader and now a virtual fader plus level meter for those of you that want to utilize that as well. Super neat features. This is a really big update. I know audio to everybody isn't the biggest thing or the coolest thing to talk about, but this update is big. It's great for creators. It's great for gamers. It gives you the ability to now do compression, to set presets for EQ. We can now use low latency mode and we can even utilize a secondary PC and set our stream mix to just output directly to the capture card or device that we wanna send that audio out to and a bunch of other features that Elgato is constantly working on and why I just really love the Elgato Wavelink software. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button, get subscribed, and check out this video here on something else that's pretty cool from Elgato that I think you guys might like as well.